Okay, let's talk about the uh, 2008 multiple choice um, AP exam. Uh, this is the calculator portion, uh, part two, and we're starting with uh, 76. So the graph of f prime uh, is shown above for x values between negative 2 and 5. On what interval is our function increasing? So if we're looking at the f prime graph, then Again, our axis uh, represents the uh, where slope is zero. Above the axis represents positive slope. Below represents negative slope. So we have our critical points being one and three. And then we have the portions above the axis. So uh, this is positive slope, positive slope, and then negative slope. And we know the original graph will have uh, uh, take on these characteristics. So we know that our function is going to be increasing. In, these, in this interval here, from negative 2 to 1, and then from 1 to 3. Or we can say from negative 2 to 3, because um, at 1, uh, the graph is increasing on both sides, so we can also include 1 as part of um, the, the increasing interval. Okay, uh, 77, uh, the graph shows, the, uh, the figure shows the, the graph of a function with domain uh, where x is between 0 and 4, which of the following are true. And we know, uh, it says the limit as x approaches 2 from the, um, uh, from the left side of 2 uh, is exists. So we see that the graph uh, does uh, approach a point from the left side. And the one side limit um, uh, from the right side of 2 uh, is also, also exists. But this is a jump discontinuity. So what that means is uh, in order for uh, the limit to exist, then uh, the y values on both sides of the one side limit must agree. And they don't agree, so we know the limit doesn't exist even though uh, the one side, uh, one side of the limit does. So uh, the following, the, uh, the true statements are only going to be 1 and 2. Okay, 78. Uh, the derivative of the function f is defined by f prime is equal to sine of x cubed minus x uh, for x between 0 and 2. On what interval is our function increasing? So we can just plug this in our calculator. And we're, we're looking at the f prime graph. So, uh, and the graph resembles this where it's, uh, it crosses the x-axis at 1. Uh, sorry, crosses the x-axis uh, at 1 and uh, between 1 and one point. Uh, 691. The graph is above the axis and it uh, goes back down to the uh, um, uh, the x-intercept at 1.691 and then it dis dips below the graph. And so our graph will simply be increasing in the interval from 1 to 1.691. Okay, 19. Uh, the depth integral from negative 5 to 2 is equal to negative 17 and the depth integral from 5 to 2 is equal to negative 4 what is the value of uh, the depth integral from negative 5 to 5. So we can sketch a graph uh, to kind of demonstrate uh, or to kind of uh, give a visual as to where uh, what the graph may look like. So from negative 5 to 2 we expect the graph to be um, uh, to have negative displacement so we're going to I can just create a graph and just uh, call it negative 17 and then uh, from 5 to 2 the integral the definite integral is negative 4 um, now, normally when we read a definite integral, we like the lower bound to be the smaller value. So I'm going to flip this around. So if I flip the 2 and 5, I'm going to pull a negative in front. If I pull a negative in front, then that's the same thing as changing this negative 4 to a positive 4. So the definite integral from 2 to 5 is a positive 4. And so therefore, the definite integral from negative 5 to 5 will just be negative 17 plus 4, which is negative 13. Okay, number 80, uh, the derivative of the function is given by f prime. How many points of inflection uh, does the graph have? And if we're looking at the f prime graph, then uh, the hills and valleys will represent the point of inflection. So if I graph this function, uh, it'll look something like this. And if I count the hills and valleys, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So I'm going to be expecting 5 points of inflection uh, from um, this graph. Okay, 81. If um, uppercase g of x is an antiderivative for uh, f of x and 
um, g of 2 is equal to negative 7, then g of 4 is equal to. So if I want to find my final position, then I need my initial position, which is g of 2, plus the definite integral from 2 to 4. So this will be the distance traveled on top of the initial position, which will give me the final position. So g of 4 is equal to g of 2 plus the definite integral from 2 to 4. And so I know g of 2 is negative 7, so then that matches answer choice E. Okay, 82, a particle moves along a straight line with velocity given by V of t. Uh, what is the acceleration of the particle at time t equals 3? So um, acceleration is simply the uh, derivative of velocity. And if I want to evaluate uh, v prime at 3, then I can use our calculator. Um, use your graphing calculator for that. So if you do uh, math 8 um, on your calculator, which is n derivative, then you can plug in uh, your velocity function, negative uh, 7 minus um, negative 1.01 .01 to the negative t squared, comma x, comma 3. And then this will essentially um, give you the acceleration at t equals 3, which is 0 0.055. Okay, 83. Uh, what is the area uh, enclosed by the curves? Y equals x cubed minus 8x squared plus 18x minus 5, and y equals x plus 5. So if we graph, we see that um, we have a curve and we have a straight line. And if I want to find the area enclosed, then um, I have to be able to split this up into two definite integrals because the upper and lower bounds are going to, um, the, sorry, the upper and the, uh, the top and the bottom curve is going to flip-flop um, at this intersection. So uh, uh, if I uh, do an intersection in the calculator, you're going to see that from 1 to 2, uh, we have a definite integral for, uh, that we can find the area. And then from 2 to 5, we can also set up another definite integral. Okay, and so once we do that, we have the top bound being the curve from 1 to 2, and the bottom uh, graph being the line, so top graph minus bottom graph from 1 to 2, and then separately, we need to have a definite integral from 2 to 5, and you see that now the top graph is going to be the linear graph, so x plus 5, minus the bottom graph, which is now uh, the cubic function. So we can plug all this in the calculator, you're going to get uh, 0.5833, plus 11.22, sorry, 11.25, and that'll give you um, the total area, which is 11.8333.